A group of fungi called Trichoderma is widespread in soils around the world and they can be very helpful to plants they cohabit with. Recently, isolates of Trichoderma have been used with great success as bioinoculants in the forestry industry. They were identified, isolated and commercialised at the Bioprotection Research Centre based at Lincoln University. Dr Robert Hill explains. Trichoderma is a group of fungi which is very widely distributed throughout the world and it's often found particularly in soils with high organic matter. Trichoderma has been known to science for a long time and people have worked with it and with its potential as a biocontrol agent probably for 60 years. What's happened more recently is that we find uh, particular isolates can give an outstandingly good result. And the work here is focused on finding those very good isolates. I'd explain it as an association between a microorganism, in this case a fungus, and a plant it can give huge benefits to the plant in terms of reduced disease, improved growth and perhaps less susceptibility to attack by pests. The fresh root samples are thoroughly washed and then surface sterilised to kill anything that's on the outside. They're then plated by putting them onto sterile agar and allowed to incubate so that any organism inside the root tissue can grow out onto the agar. We then subculture from that growth and then grow the organism into pure culture. So this is just a single pure isolate of one fungus. We've collected several thousand isolates and many of those have been tested and of those thousands there would be about 10 that look good. These plants are examples of the effect that good trichodermas on the root can have on the plant and this one has been inoculated by a seed coating before the seed was sown in the nursery. This plant has not had the beneficial trichodermas, was sown at the same time uh, and the only difference is with good trichoderma without. And you can see this plant's not growing so well, it's also showing signs of being attacked by insects and a little bit of disease. One option is to coat the seed before it's sown. The other is to introduce the trichoderma into the growing medium. In other words, into the growing mix for the trays or pots. There are examples where trichoderma can be sprayed onto the foliage. But in that case, it's being used more as a biopesticide as a substitute, perhaps, for a fungicide. We have commercialised a number of trichodermas, including some mixtures, which are presently used in New Zealand. Forestry is one major application, but the potential for trichoderma exists in all cropping sectors, and work that is well advanced in this group is focusing on pasture and there's also work that involves the horticulture industry and fruit crops. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.